at Sherlock's, so we're massive fans of Mango, and this season they are seriously delivering on spring summer bits we want to be wearing. So we're going to take you through some of our favourite pieces now. First up, we have this gorgeous white frilly blouse. Leo, I'm sure you'll be a fan of this. Obviously. Um, but it's linen, which makes it a little bit different. Linen's a massive trend for the new season, but it's a slightly more feminine take. Yeah, it's really, really cool, this. Lucy Williams was wearing this in her new mango campaign and looked absolutely stunning, as she always does. I think this is so versatile. I think you could dress this down with denim. You could wear it with a tailored trouser. Mm. I think you could go really tonal with this to make it look really luxe and really expensive. Yeah, I agree. I also love this little cutout detailing here. It's a nice way to show a bit of skin in a subtle way. Love this one. If you're a fan of the floral trend for spring, this is a really cool way to do the look. There's a lot of ditzy prints around at the moment, but actually this is a slightly more muted version of that floral look. It's that really cool shape. You've got the button down all the way down to the bottom, actually, and you could probably unbutton that quite high, just show a little mm. bit of leg, make it feel a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more summery. Yeah, you could even wear it as a kind of kimono style over jeans and a vest, like Definitely. really, really nice. And I love this belt detailing. There's a sort of kind of utility vibe yeah. to this, with the pocket and the tie waist, and I think it's just a kind of cooler take on Definitely. that floral look. I always like to toughen up florals and make sure they don't look too feminine. So I'd wear this with like a biker jacket or maybe some sneakers just to make it feel a bit more casual. It's definitely time for everybody to finally embrace the wide leg trouser. And this is such a lovely example for spring. I think it looks really expensive so, with this so seam expensive. detailing down the front. It almost looks pleated, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, and that's such a nice color. The I think it's sort of like gorgeous. a real like dusty rose, which I think would suit so many different skin tones. Yes. And really nice pair of trousers for work as well. Mm. Taylor trousers used to be very kind of stiff and formal, but they've got a really relaxed shape while still remaining quite polished. Yeah, definitely. And also, I mean, the way to wear the look is definitely skimming along the ground. Yeah. But really nice with a pointed shoe as yeah. well. Yeah, gorgeous, love these. Another white blouse that I know you will appreciate. This is a really kind of, de it's almost a nod to the pajama trend, but it's a kind of deconstructed white shirt yeah. that has a more kind of spring-like feel, right? Definitely, and you've got this exaggerated detail around the collar, which just makes it feel a little bit more design-led, a little bit more elevated. Mm -hmm. How amazing would that look, actually, yeah, with those so nice. And look, how great is that for the office? People always are asking us what they can wear, yeah. you know, at this time of year for the office. That is such a smart look. Absolutely amazing. Really, really cool. I also love the boxy fit of this. A lot of shirts are quite structured, yeah. quite tailored, and this is a much more relaxed way to do that. Look. Yeah, I love this. And you know, if you had hair up and amazing earrings yeah. for a night out, it would look so cool. So once upon a time, pencil skirts really were quite a formal option, but enter the knitted pencil skirt to prove that that is no longer the case. I think it's got real kind of Reformation, Cali Cool vibes. This oh piece. God, I absolutely love this. Like knitted twin sets are everywhere mm. this season as well, whether it's like in a cardigan or a tank top. And I just think this is amazing. I think you really want to dress this down. It's much more of a casual yes. look. You're right, pencil skirts are normally really formal. Mm -hmm. So you've got something a bit more relaxed. Wear this with like a beautiful slide. Again, mm -hmm. with a sneaker would look amazing. And actually, this is really substantial. So you don't have to save this for really hot weather days. You can wear this with a knit, with some trainers. Yeah, definitely. And it's a great off-duty look when it's a bit cooler. Another huge look for spring summer is the safari trend. And no one is nailing it quite like Mango. This green jacket, I mean, how great is this? It's not a blazer, it's not a shacket. It's just an absolute safari hero. Yeah, you're right. A lot of the shackets have got a bit more structure to their shape. This is actually really, really soft. Mm -hmm. This would look amazing on you. I, I'm really excited to try this on. It's such a flattering shape, yeah. amazing with a cinch waist, yeah. wide pair of trousers, really, really cool. And you could have that unbuttoned with like a silk cami underneath. Mm -hmm. You could you could do it up and have it more structured, put it just over your shoulders if you just want to mm. touch on the trend. I think, again, this is so versatile and it would look amazing with like, I think really tap into that trend. Definitely, like stick to your neutrals, yeah. just embrace it. Trenches are obviously a reoccurring trend for spring, but this update on the look is just so amazing. How expensive does this piece look? Oh my God, this looks like something from the row. I've been looking for a new trench coat for spring and I, I think I found the one. <laughs> this it's, is it. It's not gonna be the easiest thing to wear because it's bright white yeah. and you know we live in a city, but it's worth it. Everything about this is just so elevated. So you've got the amazing button detailings down the back of the sleeve, also down the back of the coat. There's also this cape detailing, which sits in a really nice yeah. position. It's lower on the back, which again, looks so expensive. Yeah. And again, you've got that exaggerated detail around the neckline, which just makes it just feel just so design-led. Yeah. And I just can't believe this is high street. I know, so good. Oh, amazing. 
Fans of behind the scenes will know that I have this. I'm obsessed with the pajama trend at the moment. I think there's no easier way to look super cool with like very little effort yeah. than wearing head to toe print. And I love this one. This is so amazing. It's also, I don't know if you can see on camera, it's double breasted, but in a really mm. subtle way. And it's just those little details which make them stand out a bit. Yeah. Um, and we've seen a lot of the Gen Z yellow color everywhere this season. And if you're sort of, you're a bit afraid to go full on yellow, this mm -hmm. is a really nice way to touch into that. Trend. Or if it doesn't quite suit you, you know, yeah. if you're if you're colouring that doesn't look great in that bright yellow, then there's this kind of beige undertone yeah. as well, which makes it a bit softer. And also, if you're not brave enough to wear the full trend, it's also really incredible as two separate pieces. Yeah, definitely. I've worn each of them alone, and but together, you really do feel like you're wearing your pajamas. And I have to say, I've received so many compliments on this. So if you're looking for a look yeah. with maximum impact, this is it. Definitely. Let's just give a little shout out to Mango Denim as well. We've got our go-tos on the high street for really good jeans, but actually I think the mango is really delivering on great styles this season. We've got a straight pair here and a wide leg pair here. Yeah. These are very much the cuts of the season, aren't they? Definitely, and the colours and the wash. Mm. Um, the straight ones here have got that raw edge mm. hem, which is everywhere. These kind of look like the redone Levi's yeah, that we've seen do. around at the moment. They're super, super soft, but still quite thick. Yes. You know, so they're not gonna lose their shape that quickly. Yeah, I agree. Is that the shape that you would go for? Definitely. Great, well, Great I'm a wide leg girl. <laughs> Every time we do a mango haul, we're so surprised at how good they are for dresses and evening wear in particular. Yeah. This piece is a green silky slip dress and this is amazing for spring summer weddings. It's probably not a colour you would automatically think of for a spring summer mm -hmm. event, but it, that is so versatile. Again, that would go with so many different colours. Yeah. And it's not you're not set for just spring summer. You know, you could wear that through autumn, through mm -hmm. winter, a piece that you just have in your wardrobe forever. I completely agree. You know, we always talk about not wearing pastels or brighter colours with black because yeah. they don't really work together. If you buy this and it's a really good opportunity to wear you know yeah. those pink earrings or something orange that you bought that's actually going to really go with the dark yeah. green slip dresses are a huge trend for this season this is such a beautiful shape look at the silhouette of that at the bottom it's so gorgeous, gorgeous. so nice yeah a little bit unconventional it's asymmetric another really yeah. big trend and as you were saying looking out for bridesmaid dresses on the high street mango is such a good place to look mm -hmm. out for for these sort of designs i agree so this jacket is my officially my new obsession. I'm literally about to press purchase on my computer as we speak. Lou's not exactly convinced. No, I have got to be honest. I wasn't sure about this when Charlotte showed me this a few days ago, but then put it on earlier. And actually, I'm not sure. My mind maybe changed. Good. I'm very pleased to hear that. I mean, look, it's obviously maybe an acquired taste. It's, yeah. it's a trench without sleeves. Yeah. But I think this is so cool over something sleeveless, over a cap sleeve, over a knit. Like, it literally yeah. looks, it, it How makes would anything. you wear this? I would wear this with a sleeveless top. I love it, like, you know, with an outfit that I'm wearing today, like a skirt, yeah. flats, and a sleeve, like a, you know, like a yeah. casual linen vest or something. Because I think it's really impactful having yeah. that bare arm against, you know, the really long covered up look yeah i think it's amazing it's actually a really lovely fabric yeah. and again this just looks super super expensive yeah it really so. does the pajama trend shows no sign of slowing down and this is another really lovely way to wear the look maybe a bit less intimidating than the full head to toe matchy matchy yeah. print and actually this is a colorway that would be super easy to wear mm. and it's also such a nice piece to have sort of going into spring summer where maybe your legs aren't fully prepared for <laughs> actual sunshine yeah. yet so you know they're really relaxed really loose Great for holiday. They've got an elasticated waist, but then there's got a little bit more structure at the front, so they're relaxed while still feeling mm -hmm. a little bit more polished. I think you're so right. So nice for holiday. Re you know, they've got their front pocket, really, really flattering shape, but then you can wear this with a chunky knit uh, yeah. as well. So really versatile. Shirt dresses are obviously a bit of a spring summer staple, but they can be quite corporate. Yeah. This is the opposite of corporate, but this is a really romantic, feminine way to do yeah. that look. I think you could probably get away with it as a top with some leather skinnies, that kind of thing. Yeah. But actually, I love the idea of wearing a slip underneath. It's a much more fashion forward shirt dress than some of the others that we've looked at. It's such a nice color. We saw a lot of peekaboo lace for autumn, winter, and this has got that sort of silk sheen. I think this mm. is actually 100% silk. Yes, so again, is. that's another great thing to look out for on the high street for these really affordable fabrics. Mm. It feels good. Yeah. We talk a lot about basics and building a capsule wardrobe. When it comes to the spring version of that, a yeah. denim shirt is a real must have. Yeah, really, really cool. I actually love this look over a camisole. I think that's such a nice way of wearing the spring trends, but sort of pairing it back a bit more. Completely agree. I actually love a bit of double denim as well, so I will definitely be tucking this into some jeans. But I think the good thing about this version is it's quite thick. So yeah, definitely. It, you know, it's quite a good layering piece as well yeah. through the more transitional times of year. Yeah, and you've got the poppers as well, which just kind of makes it feel a little bit more contemporary. 
Neutrals clearly are a big news for spring summer, but actually if you're into something a little bit bolder, a little bit brighter, there's this gorgeous midi skirt. Again, pleated midis are now yeah. pretty much a wardrobe staple, but how amazing is this I know, print? and I know we've said this about so many pieces today, but that really looks so expensive. Yeah, it does. The pleat detailing on that is gorgeous. It's such a bright, vibrant colour. Mm -hmm. I think that is just such a cool piece to have in your wardrobe, just to really elevate these sort of pastel, uh, kind of tonal colours. Yes, I agree. But then at the same time, so good with a black chunky near and some sock boots come yeah. autumn this is a really versatile piece that i think yeah. you'll get a lot of wear it's out definitely of. not spring summer only which i think is a, a good thing to look out for finally we're seeing some slightly nicer weather here and if you are starting to think about your summer holidays mango has some amazing pretty white dresses i know you and i both really believe in that see now buy now philosophy where it doesn't matter if your holiday is not till no. august if you see something amazing you should just be buying it i 100 percent agree if you wait until your actual holiday you'll realize that auto all the autumn winter stuff is starting to come in mm. and you'll miss out on these super cute dresses yeah there are so many amazing styles like this mango is incredible for summer dresses mm -hmm. and i think this is a prime example it's a really relaxed fabric yeah. you've got these really cool details on it it's got a little knot tie at the back really fun really easy to just slip that on you mm -hmm. don't have to worry too much about anything else yeah some amazing accessories and you're good to go agreed and how nice is this against a bit of bare skin this yeah. slightly woven fabric Lovely. all you need now is a tan <laughs> If ever we're looking for really directional accessories, Mango is absolutely the go-to and their handbags are just so good. How sweet oh. is this little version? I'm going to take it off the hanger. I think this is just gorgeous handheld like that. And doesn't this look so designer? It looks so designer. We've seen a lot of this sort of, this shape coming out from a lot of amazing designers this season. And if you know you don't want to invest in that, look to Mango, look to the high street mm -hmm. to be able to sort of have a bit more fun with your accessories. I absolutely love this. You don't need much in there, you know, your phone, maybe a lipstick, mm -hmm. a little camera and you're good to go. Yeah, it's got this lovely pearlescent detailing, which actually is just sequins, but it looks really expensive. And as yeah. you say, it's so nice for a big event. And double straps as well, so yes. really versatile. Last but not least, let's give a shout out to Mango's amazing shoes as well. How cute are these sandals? Oh, they're so, so sweet. Just such a nice way to inject something a little bit more fun. Polka dots are another really big trend for spring. And if you don't want to go sort of head to toe, then accessories are such a nice way to tap into that trend. Yeah, and good for monochrome lovers too. Finally, let's also look at these amazing mules. They've almost got a little spidery vibe to yeah, them, haven't they? Yeah, like an arachnid thing going on here, but they're so cute. If you can get past that, they're really stylish. Great for the office, great for going out. And just so easy to wear.